So constant acceleration is when an object's velocity is changing at a constant rate. And so for a given time period, its velocity is going to increase or decrease by the exact same rate. Um, and this is best shown using a plot. So we're going to plot an object's velocity um, and then that has constant acceleration, and then we're going to plot an object's velocity that doesn't have constant acceleration, and we'll compare the two. So let's get started here. Um, right now I have a graph on the board, and on the horizontal axis I have time, and on the vertical axis I have velocity. And you also see over here that I have a, a the values in tabular form, and we're going to go ahead and use that as I as I plot these um, plots. So, if I were to plot a motion, an object's velocity with respect to time, um, it would look something like this. This plot is a straight line, and that's going to be common with all objects with constant acceleration. If we were to plot any object with constant acceleration on a time versus velocity plot, it's going to be a straight line. Now let's go through some of the values here. We'll see at zero seconds, our velocity um, on this object is zero uh, meters per second. And so we'll go ahead and put that here. And we're going to now increase our time increment by five seconds. So now we're looking at five seconds. And we see that our velocity, if we look at the line and go over to the, y, uh, to the V axis, then our velocity is about two meters per second. So at five seconds, we've now increased our velocity by two meters per second, and we're at two meters per second. Now we're gonna increase the time increment again, and we're gonna increase the time by an increment of five seconds again, and we'll see that our, vo our velocity now has increased another two meters per second and is now at four meters per second. Okay? And finally, we'll increase by another five seconds and we'll get the 15 seconds total. And we'll see that our velocity again has increased by another two meters per second and is now at six meters per second. And so if you look at these values, for every five second interval, our velocity has increased by two meters per second. And this is what we mean by constant acceleration. Now, let's compare this to an object that is undergoing changing acceler acceleration. And now we'll make a plot of this here. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice on this plot is that it is no longer a straight line. It's now curved a little bit. Now, I, um, uh, if, you, if you start off, it's starting off at the exact same values of zero, and it looks like when we increase our velocity, or increase our time to five seconds, it's still at two meters per second. So it's starting off very similar to the first plot, but then you see it start taking off in the upward direction. So let's, let's again uh, tabulate our values. So it, we said at zero seconds, we were at zero meters per second, and at five seconds, we were at two meters per second. And if we increase our time again to 10 seconds, so another five second interval gap, um, we see that our velocity has now increased to six meters per second. So you see that we've increased by four meters per second. We went from two to six. That was an increase of four meters per second. If we do another five second interval to 15, we see that our velocity is now about 11 meters per second. So on this one, as we increase our velocity, or increase our time by five second intervals, our velocity has now increased by two meters per second, and then it increased by four meters per second from two to six, and then it increased by, by five meters per second when it went from six to 11. So you see that in a given time increment, this object, is veloc its velocity is changing with greater and greater values, not a constant value. And that's what we mean by changing acceleration. So this one, the green line is 
constant A. And the blue line is changing A. And A meaning acceleration. Now if we go back to our equation form of acceleration, if we remember from our last lesson, we know that acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. Now, in our case, we're using a change in time of five seconds. So we're using five second inter intervals. So we'll use five seconds here. And for those five second intervals for the green line, our change of velocity was two meters per second. So what this equation is telling us is that for every five seconds that passes, we're increasing our velocity by two meters per second. And so for this particular case, the object is, has two-fifths meters per second squared acceleration. Now we can't do this calculation that easily for this blue line with changing acceleration because this delta v is constantly changing on us.